morning. Hey, Randy. Good What's... morning, everyone. Hey, you notice anything different here? Mm. Oh. Forgot my coffee. Oh. <laughs> I, they thought it was Lent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how much fan mail I've gotten, uh, Father Mike Schmidt's uh, fan mail, and uh, uh, <laughs> Bishop, Bishop Mary and stuff. People are like, where's, where's your pectoral cross? So, you no, know, I'm joking. But, good to be with you guys again today. Um, today, we are talking about... The parish mission. Yeah! Yes. Okay, so like, Thank you. Uh, well, not that our parish mission, like, specifically, more like the purpose of a parish mission. It's always been seen as a vehicle to, like, stirs some energy, maybe a frenzy in the spiritual life. I mean, like, and here, this is the thing. It's like, if if there's not intensity injected into the, the system and your hearts and your souls, this is the way we go, we go back to our slow way of living <laughs> and not really caring much. And so these are important. It has to, we have to do things with intensity. And, and we have amazing... In enthusiastic, passionate speaker, Father Curtis. Oh, Becker. there's nobody oh, better. Oh my gosh. And he is this jacked is, out of his mind. I like can't wait. <laughs> so, and, and you know, like, you think about like how many people they go to, go to the gym and, and what do they, you know, they're on the Stairmaster, they're working hard, they're pushing, right? Sweating. That you have to exert to, to stay in shape. Mm -hmm. Did you hear, whoa, did, did you hear that? To just stay in <laughs> shape, you have to exert, right? But to, to get, you know, like, get fitness and, and increase and grow in strength, you got to even do it, have more intensity. So what are your thoughts on that? What, what do you yeah, think about I mission? Mean, I hate, I hate Stairmasters, but I just did it the other day. And I was telling, I was telling them, like, Man, actually, I like, felt great today. And it's like, in the spiritual life, people are like, I don't feel anything. God's not there. It's like, well... You know, part of God's grace and the, the working and power of the Holy Spirit, like these endorphins of the spiritual life, required a great sacrifice. So if we really want to feel God, sometimes it takes either a kick in the, you know, where, yeah. or it requires us to get our butt into these positions where we can we can encounter God through a passionate speaker or, or through something that sometimes it's fire and brimstone, or sometimes it's actually the yeah, mercy yeah. of God, or sometimes it's simply... I was here in the Holy Land, and this is what hit me. I've never thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. right? These are those different like techniques of, of, of things. Right? We, don't, we don't earn it. We don't earn these opportunities. We don't, we don't gain these chances. We don't gain these endorphins on our own doing it. It's, it's yeah. the Holy Spirit. But we have to get ourselves to the gym, so to speak. And that's what I think these parish missions are, is because it opens us up. And things like, yeah. I've never thought of Scripture like that. I didn't know that's the way it was in the Holy Land. I didn't know that that's what that meant. And so these parish missions, especially with Father Curtis, are a great way for all of those things to begin happening for us. So, <clears throat> Randy, do you have any questions for us about the mission? Or? Uh, well, I do want to say that I don't go to things often, yeah. but I am going to be the first one here for Father Curtis. And I'm not just saying it for this video and to get people there. He is an outstanding speaker. Like, yeah, you will know. feel it when you leave. I've had people tell me before uh, when he filled in, they they said that priest was different. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, uh oh. Yeah, but I know Father Curtis, and I knew that it was going to be something good. And they yeah. said, in, in terms of like his preaching, which yeah. actually presenting is kind of a similar style. They said that's the first time I felt like the priest was having a conversation with me. Mm. I was like, so Whoa. good, yeah. because really good because the Holy Spirit working through him moves the heart in a way that a, a, a loving relationship would. And yeah. he's talking about, I believe in Jesus Christ. So to have a conversation mm -hmm. with him when he's presenting Jesus Christ is a great opportunity for us to begin hearing what Christ has to say to our hearts. Amen, amen. Last thing I'd have to say is like, I feel like um, I've been reflecting upon this, kind of noticing what's going on within me. So I just noticed over the last couple of weeks, like it feels like among the faithful, you know, a, 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 like a certain group, that are that are coming back there's a there's a there's an intensity of energy like a something something moving something more focused and it's like it's hard to describe it like i'm kind of a um an intuition feeling person so i i just i sense it and uh i think it's a, like right now a kairos moment a god moment like that has to be like tapped and um or it, it can be lost so I, I think be, because of everything that's going on, maybe things are opening up just a little bit and people are getting hungry, that there's an, a, a serious opportunity to fuel the fire because there's there's something, 
I'm, I'm just, just listening to people. There's, there's something moving. Have you had any new people come back to the church here at Magdalene that have left and come back? Hmm. I don't know. Lately. After COVID, no. I think just the that's sheer, a next week talk because that's I, a good one. I think the sheer numbers are are alluding to that. Yeah, are they? Like, yeah. like last night, last night the attendance was going up. So you know we have overflow. Um, we have overflow in the parish hall mm-hmm. um, that that we have, so that people aren't um, comfortable if it if it does get a little more crowded. Um, be safe, safe place to socially distance and and be present. We'll bring communion down. So I think I think we're prepared to welcome people back. Yeah, um, we're we're ready and we've been ready really. Do, do so. you feel like? I, I even I even feel like in my priesthood ministry there's a there's just a surge of intensity energy that's more intense. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but do but do you think that there's anybody that has left the church and come back recently? I do. Yeah. Like left? Have you like have, no, like? And I've had stories of people telling me that I just need to take a little bit of time to reflect. But like and. It, think about those conversations but there there have been i have right yeah just curious absolutely yeah i think whole, it's awesome i think because i think everybody's into it now like really wants i think to be with jesus i think it's, I think it's the iron's hot right now yeah we've ex- we experienced the the exodus and and the pillar of fire is is still leading us to the promised land and that's that I mean that was our reading for office of readings today and i i do believe it because it it, it awoke in Awoken. I don't know. Woke. You, uh, you it's woke. woke? It's woke. Oh. People were awakened <laughs> through this experience of Exodus. Um, and, and now it's a time of, of saying, okay, like, am I going to come back? Am I going to, am I going to discover the promised land or am I just going to kind of give up and go back to Egypt? And yeah. this, this is that, that Kairos moment. So. Yeah. Okay. One question. What about Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> I am Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> You know, I, okay. What do I you hate, think I, about what I they're doing? This. What I hate, do they do? I hate to admit they're this. making it genderless. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's another. Oh, that's, that's the news. That's, oh, that's that's news. Oh, okay. Is that next week? Yeah, okay. I'm glad okay. you clarified that because I was going to go in a different direction. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, it was in the news. It's on I, the news. I had Mr. I don't have him. He, he's not a girl or a boy oh, anymore. Man. Oh, I. He was Mr. Potato Head. See, that's just changing, like changing, like our childhood memories. You know, well, we weren't woke. I'd rather put my head in the sand. <laughs> All right. All right. See you next week. Yes.